Okay, here we are in Illustrator. Let's talk about how to bring a hand-drawn croquis wearing clothes into Illustrator, get it image traced, and get it colored. First I have here a uh, file, new document. I'm going to go to, usually you go to print here. Make sure your units here are in inches. We're doing, uh, again, 11 inches by 14 inches. I'm going to hit create. Our workspace here should be Essentials Classic. Now I'm going to bring in my photo. Here is a hand-drawn croquis. I'm going to open it. And you can see on the right here, it is a hand-drawn uh, with pencil on tracing paper. I do recommend that you trace your croquis wearing clothing. To get from here to here, what you are going to do is uh, get some tracing paper out and ink it. That would be the best, easiest way to do this. Once your uh, picture is inked, then image trace is pretty straightforward. I'm going to leave all three versions of this picture up while I do my image trace so you can see the differences. First of all, here's my picture. I'm going to take my selection tool and click on my image. Once you do that, you will see up here at the control ribbon, if you are in uh, Workspace Essentials Classic, when you click on the picture you will see this image trace option show up. We're going to click that. and we've seen much of our picture has disappeared especially with the uh, pencil drawn image. In order to get our images to show up we need to press on this image trace panel. It looks like a little jar of peanut butter or a calendar or something. You click on that and our image trace panel will appear right here and we are tracing in black and white. Uh, I'm going to increase my threshold incrementally. This is very labor intensive for your computer. If your computer is not strong, it will take a while and start to heat up. So make sure you save your work early and often. You will see how crisp and clear the lines are for our inked croquis. As opposed to our pencil drawn, the lines get very thick and in order to get our details to show up you have to max out your threshold. And what will happen is if you have details in the face, whoa, uh, you will end up lo losing a lot of that detail. You see how, how difficult it is when you have a pencil drawn versus an ink over here. That's why I recommend that you ink your drawings so that your details will remain crisp and you will, it will be easier to color in your croquis. So I'm going to, I, I don't have the detail in her hands, I'm going to try to increase my threshold a little bit more. and uh, this croquis is looking pretty good. You see a little uh, black rectangle here. This is the border of my artboard. We're going to ignore that for now. Uh, now that I have this image traced and my lines are nice and crisp, I'm going to focus on my image trace croquis over here. We need to get rid of all this stuff over here, so I'm going to hit the expand button. Hitting the expand button turns all of your lines into vector anchor points. To get rid of all of this here, I'm going to grab my direct select tool, this white triangle, and you can see if we zoom in, um, you can see all the little anchor points here. With our direct select tool, we can click and drag a selection box over areas that we do not need. And I'll hit the delete key, and you can see I'm getting rid of uh, many parts of this drawing that I don't want. I'm going to just draw a big box over here and get rid of all this stuff. That we don't need. And um, we did have four corners on our drawing, so if you try to put in a background or a background color, uh, you'll have the background image still there. So if we take our direct select tool and get rid of those four corner anchors here, then we will have our croquis as objects that we can put uh, a color background behind. So if I take a colored rectangle, in this case uh, I could choose maybe even a gradient here, and put it behind my croquis and they are on top of my croquis so let's move this layer behind my you will see that now my croquis uh, you can see the color behind it 
if I were to take this rectangle and choose a different color, uh, you can see that showing through. If I didn't get rid of those four corner anchors with my direct select tool, then it doesn't matter what color you put behind your croquis, you're not going to be able to see it. All right, now let's talk about coloring these croquis here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to make my background color invisible and we can focus on coloring these croquis. Do you remember the live paint tool? So I'm going to click on my croquis here and then I'm going to go to object, live paint, make. Now you'll see the transformation handles around my croquis turn into these little snowflakes, which means this is now a live paint object that I can color. Over here are my tools behind this shape builder tool. It looks kind of like a ladybug or a snowman that fell over. If you click and hold that, you will see the live paint bucket. The live paint bucket will show you the three colors in your swatch panel. Here's my swatch panel. So if I select uh, yellow, you'll see the center square in my paint bucket is the color I have selected. And then the red uh, color to the left of my yellow is the red color left on my swatch panel. And the green color on the right of the yellow is the green over here on my right. And if I use my arrow keys, I can cycle through my color and you can see the colors change. Now hopefully you have your five colors for your color story set up in a folder and you can just simply click on a color and you can start to color in your uh, croquis. This is the fastest, easiest way to do this. You can even add patterns, if you have a pattern, to your clothing. So let's see our layer panel now with our color behind it. You'll notice here between my model's legs I have a little white space where I should have the color blue poking in between her legs here. Uh, sometimes it happens in her arms. Between here I'm going to choose no color with my live paint bucket. And if I click on this space, you see, there's no color. Oops, I think, let's try this again. There you go. Between her legs right here, I've selected no color. Boom. And there you go. Now if you wanted to add uh, a gradient for color, you could um, certainly click on the gradient tool right here and put a gradient. Add a little bit of three-dimensionality to the legs. Now if you wanted to make a closer to skin tone for the gradient, you could simply go to your gradient panel over here and click on this color crayon. Double click on it and you will get some colors available. You can choose a skin color if you like. And uh, you can choose uh, how where you want the gradient to occur you want it more darker or more lighter. Uh, it's a very quick and easy way to add some, some depth to your croquis. See if I went to my color here. If you wanted to do that, you could even add a little bit of black. It's up to you. And uh, that's it. Bye.